India has successfully launched its largest communication satellite. The Indian Space Research Organization has successfully launched a next generation US communication satellite named Bluebird Block 2. The satellite was launched via LVM3 M6, which is also known as India's Bahubali rocket. It was launched from the Satish Dhawan Space Station in Sri Harikota, Andhra Pradesh at 8.55 am today. With this launch, ISRO has been able to accomplish two milestones. One, it was able to deploy the largest commercial communication satellite in low Earth orbit. And second, the Bluebird Block 2 satellite became the heaviest payload to be launched by LVM-3 from Indian soil. In other words, for this mission, the LVM-3 carried a payload weighing over 6 tons, making it the heaviest commercial satellite payload launched by India so far. Now, what is the Bluebird Block 2 satellite? How will it help broadband services India? What is its purpose and why does it matter for India and Astro? Let's take a look in this episode of India on the Rise. The Bluebird Block 2 satellite is a new communication satellite weighing around 6,100 kg. It is developed by the US-based company AST Space Mobile. The satellite was launched under a commercial agreement through New Space India Limited, ISRO's commercial arm that handles international launch contracts. It is the heaviest payload to be placed into the low Earth orbit in LVM3 launch history. The previous heaviest was the LVM3 M5 communication satellite O3 which weighed about 4,400 kg. That satellite was successfully launched by ISRO on 2nd November in the geosynchronous transfer orbit. Talking about the Bluebird Block 2 satellite, after a flight of about 15 minutes from liftoff, the satellite is expected to get separated from the launch vehicle. But what is the purpose of the satellite? The purpose of the Bluebird satellite is very specific. It is part of a growing global satellite constellation aimed at providing direct cellular connectivity from space. In simple terms, this satellite is designed to help deliver 4G and 5G mobile connectivity directly to standard smartphones, even in remote or underserved regions, without the need for traditional cell towers. This is different from conventional satellite phones. The idea here is to connect ordinary mobile phones directly to satellites, especially in areas where ground-based infrastructure is weak or unavailable, such as remote regions, oceans, disaster zones, or sparsely populated areas. The Bluebird Block 2 satellites will work as part of a larger network of similar satellites orbiting the Earth in low Earth orbit, much closer to the planet compared to traditional geostationary satellites. This can help reduce signal delay and improve communication quality. The Bluebird Block 2 satellite is designed to provide direct cellular broadband connectivity from space. Unlike traditional satellites that require special satellite phones or ground terminals, this technology aims to connect ordinary smartphones directly to the satellites. In simple terms, a mobile phone on the ground can communicate straight with a satellite overhead even if there is no mobile tower nearby. For India, this approach has several potential benefits. First, it can help extend broadband and mobile coverage to remote and underserved areas. Regions where telecom companies struggle to build infrastructure, such as parts of the Northeast, Himalayan states, deserts, forests, and island territories could benefit from satellite-supported connectivity. Second, it can play a major role in disaster response and emergency communications. During floods, cyclones, earthquakes, or landslides, ground-based networks often fail. Third, this technology can support digital inclusion. Reliable connectivity is essential for online education, telemedicine, digital payments, and government services. Satellite broadband can act as a backup or complementary layer where traditional networks fall short. While the satellite itself belongs to a foreign company, the launch vehicle, mission planning and execution were entirely handled by ISRO. This reflects India's growing reputation as a reliable and cost-effective launch service provider in the global space market. Over the years, ISRO has launched hundreds of foreign satellites for multiple countries. 
But missions like this, involving very heavy payloads and advanced communication technology, demonstrate that India can now compete with the world's leading space agencies and private launch providers. This mission also strengthens ISRO's commercial credentials, especially as competition increases from private players such as SpaceX and others in the global launch industry. Another key point is the reliability of the LVM3 rocket. This launch marks another successful flight in the LVM3 series, reinforcing confidence in India's heavy lift capabilities. Also, from a technological perspective, the mission also highlights India's ability to support next-generation space applications. What do you think of it? Share your thoughts with us in the comment section below. If you like this video, then like, share, and subscribe to ET Now.